In this Spotlight series, we will describe the PT m for dpk naming convention, summarize the contents and availability, and demonstrate locating the DPKs in my Oracle support. We will demonstrate using the PT m for dpks with an existing full-tier environment. We will also demonstrate using the PT m for dpks with a new virtual box installation and People Tools client in Update Manager mode. We will also review documentation resources. Oracle delivers the PTM for DPKs when updated critical patch updates for one or more of the software components are available or required. They are not available on the same schedule as PeopleSoft People Tools or the PeopleSoft images. You will see the PT Infra DPKs referred to in the product documentation as infrastructure DPKs. You can download the PT Infra DPK zip files from the patches and updates area of My Oracle support. The PT Infra DPKs are specific to a given People Tools release. You can't use the People Tools 859 version, for example to install the software components included on a PeopleTools 858 installation. The PTM for DPK set includes CPUs for Oracle Tuxedo, Oracle WebLogic, Oracle Java JDK, and Oracle Database Client, and are available for Microsoft Windows, Linux, AIX, Solaris, and HP-UX. Oracle JDK is included only for Windows, Linux, and Solaris operating systems. The PT Infra DPK names begin with PT Infra DPK, followed by descriptive abbreviations. The abbreviations for the operating system types include WIN for Microsoft Windows, LNX for Linux, AIX for IBM AIX. SOL for Solaris, and HPI for HP-UX. Next is the PeopleTools release, currently 859, then the date that the DPKs were made available, in the format year, month, day. The first zip file, labeled 1 of 2 point zip, includes readme point text, which points you to the documentation. Review the documentation before you continue. On the People Tools page in Oracle Help Center, scroll down to the Install and Upgrade section and select the link for PT Infra DPK Deployment Packages Installation for PeopleSoft People Tools 859. The installation guide includes tasks for the various use cases you will encounter. The PSFT underscore patches point YAML file includes the full path and file name for each of the CPUs in the PT Infra DPK and gives more details about the patch numbers. The PT Infra manifest is a text file that lists the versions and CPUs of the delivered components. Both zip files include the PT Infra manifest. The manifest also specifies a minimum PeopleTools version that the PT Infra DPKs can be used with. Your first step in deciding whether to use the PT Infra DPKs is to compare the software versions in the PT Infra manifest file with the versions in the manifest for the PeopleSoft image or PeopleTools patch DPK and check to be sure the PeopleTools minimum requirement is satisfied. The CPU underscore archives directory includes the artifacts used to update CPUs on existing environments. The contents are different in each zip file and will vary depending upon which components have updated CPUs available. The archives directory includes artifacts used to install updated software components for new installations. These contents also vary. You can use the PT Infra DPKs in two ways. As in the last release, use the DPK set to include updated software in a new installation. And now you can also apply CPUs to the software components on an existing environment, including update images for application environments, people tools patches or people tools only upgrades, 
and People Tools client. When you use the PT Info DPK set for a new or existing People Tools client environment, it updates the Oracle Database Client and Oracle Java 11. When you use the PT Info DPK set for a new Elasticsearch installation, it updates only Oracle Java 11. To locate the latest PT Infra DPKs, log in to My Oracle Support and select the Patches and Updates tab. Select the Product or Family Advanced tab. Enter PeopleSoft Enterprise PT People Tools for the product and select the Current People Tools release. Filter the result by including PT Infra in the description. For this video, we will use the Linux and Windows versions. Download both zip files to a temporary directory, but don't unzip them before beginning the deployment. The instructions tell you which files you need to extract to prepare for the deployment. To apply CPUs on an existing environment, download the PT Infra DPKs into the directory where you saved the PeopleTools patch DPKs or PeopleSoft application images used for installation. When you run the DPK setup script with the options apply underscore infra underscore CPU and PSFT underscore base underscore deer, it stops the domains, applies the bundled CPUs, and restarts the domains. The CPUs that are bundled with the PT Infra DPKs vary. In these demonstrations, that includes Oracle WebLogic and Java. To find the link for the PeopleSoft update image, go to the PeopleSoft Update Manager homepage in My Oracle Support and select the page for FSCM. On the native OS tab, Click the link for the image and download to a convenient directory. This demonstration installs a full-tier FSEM environment on a Linux VM and then updates with the PT Infra DPKs. This is a POM type installation with a demo database. The base directory slash scratch slash PSFT contains the PeopleTools and PeopleSoft FSCM home directories, as well as Java, Tuxedo, and Oracle database installations. The user's home directories are created under slash scratch slash PSFT user home. We are using PuTTY to access a Linux VM. We saved the 11 DPKs for FSCM update image 41 in slash scratch slash dpk install. Running as the root user, we unzip fsem 920 upd 041 lnx underscore one of 11.zip to get the setup directory and the dpk setup script. Change directory to slash scratch slash dpk install slash setup and enter dot slash psft dash dpk dash setup dot sh to run the dpk setup script with no options for a full tier deployment. Specify the full path for the base directory slash scratch slash psft and the user's home directory slash scratch slash psft user home. After replying to the script prompts, we answer Y for yes to indicate that we want to do the default initialization. When the deployment is complete, we open another PuTTY session to check the initial software versions. As the root user, check the Java versions, first under the base directory and then under ps underscore home. Change directory to slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash jdk slash bin and type dot slash java dash version. Change directory to slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash 
ps underscore home 8.59.03 slash jre slash bin and type dot slash java dash version. In both cases, the version is java 11.0.11 2021-04-20. Use the opatch ls inventory command to get information about the WebLogic patches. Change to the psadm2 user with su-psadm2 to set the oracle underscore home environment variable for this session. Enter export oracle underscore home equal slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash bea change directory to slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash bea slash opatch enter opatch ls inventory dash jdk slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash jdk repeat the command and add angle bracket slash scratch slash temp fscm slash weblogic underscore initial dot text to save the output in a text file for comparison after using the pt infra dpks. We also want the pt infra manifest file to compare with that from the pt infra dpks. The pt manifest file is in the first people tools dpk zip file, which is the second zip file of the image. Copy the zip file to a temporary directory and extract to view pt-manifest. From the dpk install directory, copy pt-dpk-lnx-8.59.03-102.zip to slash scratch slash temp fscm. Change directory to temp fscm and Unzip the file. Use the command more pt manifest to see the contents. To check the manifest provided with the pt infra dpks, we saved the first pt infra dpk in a temporary directory slash scratch slash temp pt infra. Unzip pt infra dpk lnx 8.59 210723 underscore one of two dot zip and type more pt infra dash manifest. Looking at the two manifest, the pt infra has a later version of JDK 11.0.12 July 2021 CPU compared to that in the FSCM image 11.0.11 11 April 2021 CPU. The WebLogic version in the PT Infra DPK is 14.1.1.0 .1 .1 July 2021 CPU, which is later than the April 2021 CPU in the FSCM image PT manifest. This means that we can include the PT Infra DPKs with our DPK set for the image and run the script to apply the CPUs for JDK and Oracle WebLogic. The tools version for the image is 8.59.03, which satisfies the minimum tools version and the PT Infra dash manifest. Now run the script to apply the available CPUs. We copied the two PT Infra DPK zip files into the slash scratch slash DPK install directory with the FSCM DPKs. Go to the setup directory and run the DPK setup script with options to apply the CPUs from the PT Infra DPKs. Run dot slash psft dash dpk dash setup dot sh dash dash apply underscore infra underscore CPU dash dash psft underscore base underscore dear slash scratch slash psft. The script prints progress messages as it runs a series of validations. It stops the PeopleSoft services and domains, then it applies the CPUs from the PT Infra DPKs, it checks and starts the PeopleSoft services and domains, 
then exits and returns to the command prompt. To confirm that the script applied the CPUs for Java and Web Logic, run the verification checks again. For Java, change directory to slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash jdk slash bin and enter dot slash java dash version. Then change directory to slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash ps underscore home 8.59.03 slash jre slash bin and enter the same command. The Java versions have been updated from 11.0.11 to 11.0.12.2021-07-20. Change to the PSADM2 user and repeat the steps for Oracle WebLogic. Export Oracle underscore home equal slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash bea. Change directory to slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash bea slash opatch and enter opatch ls inventory dash jdk slash scratch slash psft slash pt slash jdk and repeat the command to save the output in a text file. The initial and final outputs show that the web logic has been updated with later patches. The final output on the left has WLS patch set update 14.1.1.0210701 created on 14 July 2021. The initial output on the right has WLS patch set update 14.1.1.0210329 created on 9 April 2021. You can also compare the output with the MyOracle support document that lists the critical patch updates for Fusion middleware and other Oracle products. We are using the July 2021 patch availability document. You can find later patch availability documents by searching in MyOracle support. To find the WebLogic updates, select the link for Oracle Fusion Middleware, Oracle WebLogic Server, and then locate the patches for Oracle WebLogic Server 14.1.1.0. Both the output from our installation and the PAD document list the same WLS patch set update 3306965. The OPatch version in both is 13.9.4.2.6. Another source of information is psft underscore patches dot yaml, which is packaged with the PT infra DPKs. Change to slash scratch slash temp PT infra and type more psft underscore patches dot yaml. The file lists the names and relative paths of the archives for Java, WebLogic, and OPatch, and the patch numbers. The Java version here, 11.0.12, matches the output from the java-version command. The WebLogic patch numbers, 32973306 and 3306965, match the output from the opatch command. Change to the psadm2 user and run psadmin to verify that the PeopleSoft domains are up and running after using the ptinfra dpks. The application server processes are running, the web server domain is started, and the process scheduler server processes are running. This demonstration includes the PTM for DPKs with a new Pultier FSCM environment on VirtualBox. You carry out the VirtualBox deployment on a Microsoft Windows host where you have installed VirtualBox Manager. The deployment sets up the PeopleSoft environment on a Linux virtual machine, so download the Linux version of the PTM for DPKs from My Oracle support. Copy the two Linux PTM for DPKs 
into the same directory as the PeopleSoft application image DPKs on the Windows computer with the VirtualBox installation. When you run the DPK setup script, it uses the updated components from the PT Info DPKs for deployment. In this case, that includes the Oracle WebLogic and Java components. We downloaded the 12 DPKs for the FSCM image. We are running on a Windows machine where we installed Oracle VirtualBox, and these DPKs are the VirtualBox format, FSCM-920-UPD-041.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
This is a Samba shared drive directory, which you can access from a supported Windows host. Download the Windows version of the PT Info DPKs, and as a root user, copy them into the tools underscore client directory on the VirtualBox VM. Then go to the Windows host where you want to install the PeopleTools client and map a drive to the tools underscore client directory. The mapped drive includes the setup script, PeopleTools and Oracle 19C client directories, and the Windows versions of the PTInfra DPKs. Run the setup script to install the PeopleTools client in Update Manager mode for use in applying PUM maintenance. The script installs the PeopleTools client for 8.59, incorporating the updated versions of Java and Oracle database client when available from the PT Infra DPK. Only the Java CPU is applied in this demonstration because the July 2021 version of the PT Infra DPKs does not include the CPU for the Oracle 19C database client. The script also installs the client for your 8.57 or 8.58 target environment. Log into the PeopleSoft environment in the VM console and change directory to slash op slash oracle slash psft slash pt slash tools underscore client. This directory is set up as a Samba shared drive. Use the command ls dash dash color equals never to list the contents in white for better contrast. It includes client directories for 857, 858, and 859, source.properties, readme.txt, and tnsnames.ora. Use a method such as scp or a program such as winscp to copy the two pt infra dpk win zip files into the directory. Copying the zip files into the Linux file system at this point means that they will have the correct permissions for the client installation. Go to the Microsoft Windows computer for the PeopleTools client installation. Map a drive such as Z to the Samba shared drive folder for the tools underscore client directory by entering slash slash IP address slash tools underscore client. The mapped drive has the two PT info DPKs for Windows in the same directory as the setup PT client dot bat script. Open a command prompt, go to the mapped drive and run setup PT client dot bat. For a new installation, no options are needed. Select 8.58 as the target client. The script validates and extracts the two PT Infra DPKs. It uses the Java CPU from the PT Infra DPK for the PeopleTools 8.59 client installation, which is used for the PUM source. The script also installs Change Assistant in one of the clients for the target. When the script ends, Change directory to the client installation, c colon slash pt 8.59.03 underscore client underscore ora slash jre slash bin and type java dash dash version. The output demonstrates that the Java version has been updated to 11.0.12.2021-04-20 LTS. You can also apply Java and Oracle 19C client CPUs when available to an existing PeopleTools client environment as described in the documentation mentioned in the additional resources. For more information on the PeopleSoft images, PeopleTools CPKs, and using the PT Infra DPKs, here are some additional resources. You can download the companion slides with images and notes from this video from the Oracle Learning Library. Go to the PeopleSoft Information Portal for all of the latest resources on Oracle PeopleSoft's products, features, and customer stories, including other Spotlight videos. 
The Oracle Help Center for PeopleSoft includes the most recent online help, installation, and upgrade guides, and links to other PeopleSoft portals for all PeopleSoft product lines. The PeopleTools 8.59 homepage in My Oracle Support includes links to the installation and implementation documentation for the current release. Go to the PeopleSoft Update Manager homepage for links to the latest PeopleSoft application update images, documentation, and best practices. Go to the PeopleTools Patches homepage for links to the latest PeopleSoft PeopleTools patches and documentation.